incarnations. Um, yeah, as a musician, I, I dreamt about being a part of bands and playing music, and I've always had a mindset to um, be a part of a musical, you know, thing. And then your second, um, you know, process was dare to grow. So what skills do you need? now? Now I'm I'm seeing myself for the first time ever playing in front of people, and now I'm putting myself in that every Sunday. You know, playing and learning with. I had a mentor. He played guitar, and I would. He would. You know, I would shadow him, and he would show me. I only knew like three chords, and certain songs I would play, certain songs I won't play because I didn't know how to play all right. of it. And but through all of that, and he would. He would not if I had the wrong chord. He would not, and <laughs> and it was only three, so I I knew which ones to hopefully go to, and and that was like my beginnings, you know. And then eventually, I kept just you know growing into playing in other churches. Um, and then now as an adult, I do it for a living. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. I lead yeah. um, as your third process, right? Like right. I'll learn to prosper. prosper. And now it's like my livelihood. I have yeah. three children, married three children. And um, it's been feeding my family for um, forever, for as yeah. long as I can remember. I, I started doing ministry at like 21, 22 and then full-time traveling with an evangelist uh, around 27, 28. Wow. And um, from there on, I did some of that for through marriage. I got married. And then once I had my first child in 2009, that's when I stopped traveling. Mm -hmm. And I dedicated myself. I lived in Philadelphia when I got married. And then I came back to Jersey and just committed myself to my local church here at Commitment. And ever since I've been just leading worship here awesome. and it, it is a very tangible mm -hmm. process like mm -hmm. it's like a godly process okay. which is a beautiful thing that God showed you that for other people as well mm -hmm. um, you know so like fast forwarding now I've, I'm looking at your uh, at your um, you have another book here I don't think you have it here. no I don't have that here that's S Hadana the Hadana the skating club uh, and the skating club the story behind Hadana my husband and I were down in Georgia yes. visiting family and everybody would go off after breakfast, but Hadana and I would always end up at the breakfast table together. And so we started telling stories. And it started, you know, whisper down the lane. Mm. So I would start the story, and mm -hmm. she would pick it up. So as we started doing that, I started typing it at night, remembering how the story went. And that's how she's my co-author in Hadana and the Skating. So that's another program I want to bring to like young folk, right. you know, to how to collaborate on that's, make it a game. That's I so haven't valuable. had an opportunity to do that, you know, mm -hmm. only because life gets in the way. Sure. But what I'm going to be writing in, in the next book that I put out will be all of my ideas so people can just take it and run. That is super cool. I see you even with young people in one of these pictures yes. on your website. 2015? <laughs> yes, that was Mrs. K. My last name was Carper. I was married for 20 years to Donald Carper before okay. he passed. All right. And I was Mrs. K, the book shepherd. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is really cool. I see the kids are eating it up. They're like, uh -uh, so cool. That is awesome. And then I see here you have a Smart Choice by, a, uh, what is it, Smart by Choice TV. Smart by Choice TV was mm -hmm. another brainchild of 2016. mine. 2016. And what, that was the first uh, year that I had put together my protege program. And I had three authors go through the pro program. And my idea was to launch their book. And I believe this was before Ave uh, Avenue of the Arts. Oh, right, the Arts yeah, Avenue. Right. Arts Avenue, right. 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 So my idea was to launch in front of a live studio audience, okay. and we did it at the um, Ideal Performing Arts Center in okay. Camden, Okay. and it was a success. Unfortunately, it was so expensive, Oh wow! <laughs> you know, yeah, but at yeah. least I did it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That, that's that. Hey, that's the beginning of continuing the, the work. At least you, you planted the seed, yes. you know, and I know God's going to continue yeah. to do that. That's yeah. beautiful. And then yeah. after that, 2021, you launched your podcast, your podcast, as you mentioned. Right. Well, this is um, what you're looking at right there is my um, my own personal realization that I wasn't really helping my my authors because mm. I would get them through the process of of you know, tier one mm. and tier two, getting the book published. Right. But I wasn't helping them market. Hmm. And in 2005, 2006, print on demand really took off. Okay. So I was a traditional publisher. Hmm. 
prior to that, meaning I filed all the, mm-hmm. you know, what uh, traditional publishers usually do. Um, and now that everybody was going to Amazon and Lulu and I forget all the other different. Yeah, it's Libris. Cr- uh, CreateSpace. Yeah, CreateSpace. Yeah, CreateSpace. I started with CreateSpace. So I wanted to learn social media. And that's what you see is me in front of uh, okay. the 4% group. Yeah. And I've been a part of them um, actually for about seven, almost seven years. And my site, which is mm-hmm. actually more than just a website, behind it are multiple projects. Yeah. And I just send people to whatever topic I'm talking about. So you don't go to one website and click on a link. Yes. I just give you a re- resource. A resource, right? That's really good. So my author author nathan grimes.com or author uh joseph wilson.com you know so i get the domain name okay. for my authors and that's how they market their books it's really good yes yeah, so that's, that's really what i awesome. learned through um hooking up with this organization yeah well that's really smart Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna use that a lot because that's it is very smart it's like it's it's very give back you know it's very like um you know i think one thing i learned uh I heard uh, uh, the late great right G- the Steve Steve Jobs mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. an Apple company. Mm-hmm. You know, he said because um, a lot of people will call him genius, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. genius this, genius mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. But he said, "I'm only as good as the people who I surround myself mm-hmm, with." Exactly. And it's and it's a it's a very um, important trait and thing to catch yourself to understand that you can't do all of these things alone. Exactly. You need people. You need help bringing in the genius that got right. put and birthed in you. Right to spread and, and, and make it bigger and, and make it better. And that's tier two. How do I dare to grow? Mm. Who do I need to la- tie exactly. into because I don't have that skill? Yeah. You know, what skills do I need to make this succeed? And when you recognize it's not within your power and this is not what the Lord put you here for, right. who can you associate yourself that's with? That's so valuable because oftentimes we'll, we'll miss the mark and think growing just us mm-hmm. and not growing others. Exactly. You know, in our growth journey, we have to help others come along with us exactly. pull them up with us exactly that's, that's exactly beautiful right. that's cool so now we're we're going into now the more recent years 2022 2023 and i see here smart talks with one smart lady which you've mentioned is the podcast is the podcast and now we have um your co-author of making waves creating ripple effects that can change the world yes so what that is this a, that was an anthology book that i did a chapter uh, and the chapter title was Born to Win, Not Retire. Mm-hmm. So that's another way of teaching people to get involved in anthology books mm-hmm. where they're marketing their full book, their, author- their authority book. Mm-hmm. So within that chapter, it, it tells my story mm-hmm. uh, about me going through the uh, process mm-hmm. and then how the Lord is really, uh, you know, in my life leading me. And so I'm doing my little commission. That's very good. <laughs> and then, uh, then tying it to you know, born, born to win, not re, uh, not uh, retire, the ebook. So it's mark is in a marketing process. And with that book, I became an Amazon bestseller. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. That's great. Yes. If you didn't know, you can see her on Amazon, of course, as she mentioned. But right. you can see it on also. Um, the uh, Amazon, I think they have Prime audiobooks. They yes. have it on there. Every yeah. social media platform yeah. Yeah. Uh, of your choice, you can audiobook. I think they have. As well, well, it's not audiobook yet. But, but it is a book, and it's it's that's my eventually. next. That's my next step. That's I, prophetic. That's uh, that's my next. <laughs> you don't know how prophetic I. I have been playing telephone tag with the uh, person who is in charge of Amazon's audio department. Beautiful. <laughs> See, there you go. I mean, it's always a purpose. I was hoping that he and I could have a conversation before today. That's but good. Just to know that he's calling me back. Is now the we're staying thing. tuned. That's yes. beautiful. Yes. That's awesome. Now, do you have other uh, now outside of that? You have other newer projects, newer books. You said you mentioned you were going to start uh, putting together. Oh and, yeah. So right, how does how's that looking now? Right now, well, last year I um, last I'm not going to talk about me personally, but last year. I worked with a couple who will be launching their books and um, on relationship marriage. A uh, marriage is an assignment. All right. And then I also last year uh, launched a book with Nathan, Nathan Grimes. Um, Jesus teaches how to pray, mm. and that's for um, uh, middle school. Okay. This year he's writing a book on we were made for relationships. Beautiful. So that was the one I was working f- with this morning before I came. 
and then I'll have I I'm working on like six different projects. That's beautiful. And in, in, in addition to my own, of course, but I wanted great. to talk about them. Yeah. Uh, everything that I talk about, you can find on OneSmartLadyProductions.com. Yes. I am an open book. <laughs> no pun, pun intended. Yes, pun intended. That's beautiful because yeah. um, I think somebody you mentioned marriage, and um, there's another show that we're going to be uh, putting on the network with uh, it called Mirage. Mirage. Yes, a play of words for uh -huh, marriage, uh -huh. and um, basically the mm -hmm. mission to that one is debunking all of the things that we usually think works in a marriage, but it really doesn't. It's a yeah, mirage. That's it's exactly it's a, right. it's not true. Um, how to solve those problems? How to parent? Mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. um, how to do all these things? I would love to have you come out to something like that because oh, I'm putting together too, yeah. uh, some couples and um, putting them on a stage and. And I don't know if any if anybody have seen the parent test uh, actually uh, running, I think on Hulu now or something. If you have any any streaming service, you can watch that. Um, it's a show basically on parenting styles, mm -hmm. and it really kind of opened my mind on understanding, you know, um, how many different ways we can communicate to our children mm -hmm. um, based upon, you know, how the motto of God, how He designed it to be, versus Oh, well, my mom taught me this way. Mm -hmm. My dad taught me this mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Or in my case, I didn't grow up with a father. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I was scared to death mm -hmm. to have a son of my own. Yeah. So I'm coming into a, a you know, a season. My son now is 13. Wow. And I'm just like learning. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't see my father, I think, for 30 years of my life. Wow. And then I just rekindled a relationship with him about a year ago. Oh, wow. um, we went to uh, Puerto Rico. We got together and we uh, fellowshiped as a family like we never missed a beat. Awesome. It was beautiful. That's how the and, Lord works. And, and, and it's a wonderful thing to see That's how it. God will join and stitch and erase as well. That's and exactly he really right. does throw it to the depths of the sea and exactly to never it. be, you know, remembered again the bad. Yeah. And, but the good continues to yeah. grow. So it's such a beautiful thing to yeah. see that. And, um, um, and create new oh, strong yeah. memories. Absolutely. And and that's where God builds a foundation yeah. for people to continue to move forward in, in everything that he has yeah. set out for them. It's never too late. No, it's never not. Never too late no. to do what God calls you to do. One of the things that I didn't put in my um my um bio is I am a certified Bible counselor. Oh, so I bring good. that to the table. Yes. You know, when I'm I'm working with people mm -hmm. because I keep the Lord in front of yes. my life. Yes. I really truly do. I know when I'm doing something that's not right mm. for me. Yeah. Because as soon as I move into it, mm -hmm. something doesn't get it back up. Off. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if I try it again, nope, it's not meant to be. Right. So um, I do let the Holy Spirit guide me. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Sure. Believe me, I'm not. That's but I do wisdom, not have, though. but That's I do wisdom. not have the temper I used to have. Right. <laughs> Anybody right. who comes to me now, they will mm -hmm. say, "Well, you're really changed, haven't you?" <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's wisdom. God, God has a funny way of using our, our our tragic moments, our bad, you know, things mm -hmm. that that bad decisions, to bring them full circle to a point where we now realize, yeah, you know, that there's there's something there for us to learn right. from and not do it again. I mean, that's why David was a man. After God's own heart, that's right? That's it. He that's would it. he would do things, but he won't go back. That's it. And that's, that's the it. half the battle, right? That's like, it. You know, so you have a new. Yeah, I wanted to. I don't don't want to miss out on this book. Yeah, uh, as I said, there was a lot of abuse in my yes. my younger life. Um, this is a book where I was uh, a chapter, and it and it's called the Silver Tongue Devil. And then we we're talking about marriages, hmm. the Mirage. Wow. He was really the Silver Tongue Devil. Wow. Um, he gave me an image of who he was and we had a wonderful life for 18 months mm. and then like a switch wow. just switched him off had I stayed I would not be sitting here today because he was very violent mm. and how yeah. I got away 40 years ago I, I was I was you know going through my book yes. 40 years ago this year um, I walked out of that marriage mm. and by the grace of God the Lord put co-workers there mm -hmm. to get me away from him they called me into a, a staff meeting because I was working on the IBM project and I didn't have to go to staff meetings they said Deb we want you to sit on a staff staff meeting and so I you know sat down and all of a sudden 14 eyes are looking at me mm -hmm. and the supervisor said we decided it's time for you to leave Joe mm -hmm. Bonnie has a bedroom all ready for you to come over to Runnymede New Jersey I was living in Philly 
Runnymede, New Jersey, uh, because he didn't. Know, he was from Michigan. He didn't know anything about Jersey, so oh. they decided Runnymede would be the best place to put. Okay. Plant. I mean, they had it all laid out. Wow. And I, I didn't leave immediately, but I did eventually leave and move in with Bonnie. Wow, that's amazing, and that's just like I remember. My upbringing, I was about maybe two or three years old when my mom suffered domestic violence mm -hmm. from my uh, father. Mm -hmm. And again, mm -hmm. just, I was too young to even understand. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that has a scar mm -hmm. even when you're that young, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And it's, like, amazing. I'm, I mean, even today, like, my relationship with my father that I have rekindled and put together, um, I will go to my mom and it'll still be, like, um, a subject matter, yeah. you know, oh, to yeah. my mother. Oh, like, yeah. and she doesn't forget. And oh, it's no. like, and I tell her, listen, I was too young to even remember right. all the things that he would do. I would remember just a scene here and mm -hmm, there in mm -hmm, my mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so she would congratulate me for my relationship with my father, but mm -hmm. there's always this little bit. Yeah, little tinge. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I tell her, it's okay, mm -hmm, mom. Mm -hmm, you know, it's mm -hmm. okay to yeah. feel this way yeah. because it's not an easy thing to overcome. Exactly. But remember, embrace what God wants you to learn from mm -hmm. why is it still there right mm -hmm. if god mm -hmm. takes it out but if he leaves it in what does that mean mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what do you have to learn what do you have yeah. to process through yeah um so that god can use you for the next exactly. and, and this is one of those examples exactly. it's like you're putting now your domestic violence on on you know like mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. what you went through and now letting people know you know you can overcome it as well yes there is a way yes. and it's not the same for everybody now you know it's different for every situation yeah. But the end result is the same, is that God will be the one that delivers you from right. whatever that scar, whatever that darkness yeah. that it can take you to. You know, yeah. it's amazing. So uh, you met. this says you've met Dan Daniela Roman, and she provides a platform for women touched mm -hmm. by domestic violence mm -hmm. who feel this is they the have second no voice. Yeah, this is the second edition. Right. And I'm proud to say that I was the editor on this book. Oh, this is great. Yeah. yeah so I worked with each one of the women. Best on seller story. on Amazon. That's beautiful. I mean, God is just from <laughs> glory seconds. to glory, right? And I have, okay, let me back up. I have Joseph Wilson, who wrote His Touch, bestseller on Amazon. Wow. He's my author. Uh, Chantel Thomas. Oh, my goodness. I can't remember the title. She's bestseller on Amazon. Wow. So I have three He's put you in. He's yeah. put me in a position to really just let people know that um, it's okay to tell your story. Yes. You know. That is amazing. Yeah. I, I wanted to, if I can go back to of the course. first one. Um, That's the one I'm interested in for, <laughs> for my... You, and you mentioned, you know, it's supposed to be for children, yet it appeals to the to the general to the older, older audience. Yes, yes. And that to me is a, yes. it's a wonderful balance, though. It is. It was a surprising balance. So the first book, the, the picture was yes. full. Okay. Okay. So I had... Um, well, I, I did the layout and everything. Mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I changed it from full to just a small port. When I was coming up in, in Fort Washington, this is where this takes place, this picture here. Okay. Um, my mom told me just recently, and I didn't know this, um, I knew we, she represents the woman I call grandma. Okay. Okay. I knew grandma took care of me um, until I was about three years old, but I didn't know it was an official foster placement. Mm. My mom had a nervous breakdown when I was six months old, and there were two old. I had two older brothers, and so my two older brothers and my mom, my myself, um, we were placed in grandmom's home, who was my mother's foster aunt. Mm. And um, my mom didn't want to do it, but the family, you know, insisted because my mom was she was only twenty five, mm. so she was still very young, and my dad was in the service, and so the woman who raised me for the first three years of my life really built the foundation mm. for my spiritual growth mm. and when i was three i went back to live with mom and i don't touch on a lot of because my mom and i we had a very hard time mm. because she didn't raise me as a baby mm. okay and i bond and that's and that's mm -hmm. the whole that dynamic is dynamic yeah. that i'll be writing about in mm -hmm. the second book that i'm writing uh, well, sex, six books. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, the dynamics of a baby six months old being given to a woman who Jesus is all she knows about mm. and all she talks about. Mm. And then to come to live with my mom, who my mom, she was a good woman. Mm. 
but my mom had emotional challenges mm. and temper, yes. very bad temper. And but my mom made sure that once we could, uh, she sent us to Sunday school. Mm. So from grandmom, I went to Deacon West. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh. So as I'm saying, God has placed yeah. me here and orchestrated my life. And I really didn't realize that until I started writing mm. again as an adult, looking back on the different experiences. And this was basically just last year.